Hey everybody, this is the AER-15, a fully modular and ridiculously customizable laser rifle. This is the Institute skin, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the other side. And on the other side, there's a selector switch and a digital readout that says AER-1505 build... 03-2077 Pip-Boy connection. Okay. That's a great touch. I like that a lot. The AER-15 has new sounds. It looks great, handles well, and has a ridiculous amount of customization options. Let's check them out right now. There are seven different emitters. Uh, Mod 0 and Mod 1s. Mod 1s will give you extra burning damage at the expensive range, which may or may not appeal to you. There's also a, another uh, prototype emitter available from the Institute. It's a cryo emitter, which will freeze your target to death. If optics are your thing, there are nine different options here, uh, ranging from iron sights all the way up to the advanced targeting system from the Institute. And that gives you extra options like uh, different magnification levels. You can track different types of targets. And uh, you have different levels of night vision available. There are three different barrels. This is the standard West Tech. There's also a DMR barrel for a uh, long distance precision weapon. And the prototype quad barrel which splits the beam up into four separate beams while still maintaining high precision. We have two grips. Uh, there are different rail attachments, both laser and flashlights. A number of stock options. The foregrip can be changed or removed entirely. Now, if you choose to go with the standard West Tech barrel, there are two beam modifiers available. The first one will give you higher range and accuracy, and as well as reduced firing noise. The second, is a beam splitter. It'll split the beam into a widespread nine beams. This will turn your AER-15 into a laser shotgun. Extremely useful in close quarters combat. There are multiple skins available. This is the Institute, the default skin, the Brotherhood of Steel, the Minutemen, which is sort of a blue urban camo. And the Railroad. Fire mode can be set to semi-automatic or automatic. And the power cells, you can double your capacity by installing the MFC2 Extended. It looks like a drum mag on the bottom. That gives you 100 shots. And now you can adjust the beam color simply by dialing up the wavelength. All the way down here at 400 nanometers, you will have a magenta color. And it will give you the lowest fire rate and highest damage. You could dial it all the way up to 700 nanometers, which is a red color, which gives you the highest fire rate, but lowest damage. You, and you might notice the uh, little lights on the side here are the color that you select the beam. I selected red here. Oh, when I went full auto. Can't wait to show my friends in Diamond City my new toy. Sorry, Mo. I'm just testing this shit out. Turo's looking to get his hands on my weapon here. I don't think so, brother. Man. Malcolm Latimer. I don't think I've ever spoken to that guy. I admire your courage, though.
Man, for maximum effect, go full auto with the red color laser. That has the highest rate of fire. Security! Security! Hello, Sika. Wow, she's pretty swift. Like a gazelle. Security! Someone help me! Hold on. She sort of blended in. That fisherman's outfit. <laughs> Is that guy fleeing? I guess I guess so. What are you from good neighbor? Man, you really I went into this with like nine hundred and something rounds. <laughs> These guards are really soaking up. Nothing like the feeling of just hosing people down with energy. The AER-15 lets you be technologically superior in style. Takahashi, where have you been? This is a must-have for energy weapon fans. Oh, glorious. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Look at this guy. He's just... He's just raring to just get some noodles. He doesn't give two shits about what's going on. Look, Takahashi's she's gone. What happened to him? Solomon so hopped up on shit he doesn't know what's going on. No more haircuts for you, John. <laughs>